Oh, welcome Scorpio to your weekly reading. This is for the 27th of March to the 2nd of April. We're going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming in for you for this week. So how we're going to do this reading is that we're going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning the week. The second row is going to be the area that you should focus on. The third row is going to be the unexpected energy coming in. The fourth row is going to be messages and advice from spirit. And finally, our fifth row is going to be the possible outcome of the week. Now, Scorpio, there are going to be quite a few messages coming through. If there is any particular message that comes through that doesn't resonate, just let it go by. However, if the reading as a whole doesn't resonate, it probably just means it's not meant to be your reading at this time and you can go ahead and watch your Moon Rising and Venus Signs readings. So let's go ahead now and we're going to clarify the Knight of Swords and we're looking at the possible energy beginning the week. So let's see what this Knight of Swords energy is for you. And you have got the Eight of Swords. Okay, so I am going to now take another card on the Eight of Swords. Let's see where this Eight of Swords energy is coming up for you. What is this Eight of Swords energy for Scorpio, please? What is this Eight of Swords energy? And we have got the Queen of Swords. Okay, interesting energy. So we've got the Knight of Swords and the Queen of Swords. It will probably not resonate with everybody, my dear Scorpio. What we are seeing is there might be a situation in your life at the moment where you are feeling this Eight of Swords energy. Now, Eight of Swords, Scorpio, it's basically a mindset of feeling that there's no way out. We don't know what to do. We feel stuck, we feel trapped, and we really feel there's no options for us. Now, Knight of Swords is coming in and saying that you are really at the end of your tether with this energy. It's telling me that you do not want to be in this position and you are going to do whatever you can to release yourself out of it. You are coming through in this circumstance as Queen of Swords. Now it doesn't matter if you're masculine or feminine, it's the energy of the card we are talking about. And can you see how Queen of Swords is looking at this Eight of Swords energy with her sword up? You're being told that the best way to release out of this energy is to take all emotion out of the equation. Look at it calmly, effectively, and really be brutally honest with yourself, Scorpio. When you take all outside factors, all emotions, all other perceptions and assumptions out of the equation, there is going to be a way to release it. Because we see with our Knight of Swords that when you address it from that perspective, you're going to find a way out. And what I really like to see with both the Knight of Swords and Queen of Swords energy is you've had enough. You don't want to be in this energy anymore and you're going to do whatever it takes to get out of it. Now just remember, with Eight of Swords, it's also mostly a mindset. We get ourselves caught up in believing there are no options. But when you come at it with our Queen of Swords energy, logical, practical, no-nonsense kind of energy, you're going to just look at it for what it is. You're going to be able, with that sword, to release yourself completely and totally. So we do see this releasing for you in whatever circumstance that you are feeling this energy at the beginning of the week. So it's a good way to start the week. Let's look at this Nine of Cups energy that is coming through in the area that you should focus on. So let's see, what is this Nine of Cups energy for Scorpio, please? 
What is this Nine of Cups energy? And we have got the Death card. Oh, this is a big energy. You know, Scorpio, the energy I'm picking up and I'm picking it up even from the beginning here. It's like this week, you have to be completely honest with yourself. You have to put your priorities in order because what's coming up now, it's telling you that you have to really look at what you want to now bring in at this time. It's not about what you want to bring in in two months time, in six months time, in a year's time. It's what you want to bring in now. This Nine of Cups is the Wish Fulfillment card. It's something that's going to make you happy now. What's going to bring you joy now? And death is coming in and saying, you have to prioritize. In order to make this a reality, there's going to be things you have to let go of. And this is one of the energies, this Eight of Swords energy, feeling you don't have any options, feeling you don't have any choices, and you're stuck. Death is coming in very much associated with our Queen of Swords energy. There are certain things, and for my different Scorpios, it's going to be different. It could be situations, it could be people, but there are certain things you have to release completely. That's what death is telling us, so that you can bring in this energy of Nine of Cups. I will give you a very simple example, Scorpio. Just say this Eight of Swords energy is the energy that you're feeling in your career at the moment. Say you've been in your career for a while and you just feel like you're on the road to nowhere. You're not fulfilled, you're not motivated, you're not excited, but you feel like this is what I studied, this is what I've been doing the past few years, there's no options for me. But you have this Eight of Swords energy of really feeling stuck. Queen of Swords energy comes in and says, there is always a way. Now take emotion out of it. Yes, you studied maybe even five, six years for this. Yes, you've put in so much time and effort. But if it's leaving you feeling this Eight of Swords energy, something must change. What do you really want? Scorpio, what do you really want? So just say what you really want is to give up your job and to go and work on a cruise ship and travel the world. Okay, just go with me. I know it's a little bit out there, this example. Death card comes in and says, you have to look at what's going to make you happy now. Maybe just take a few months off from work, right? Just to give yourself a taste of what's possible and see where you can find a job, perhaps on a yacht or a boat or a ship or whatever it is to get the experience. Do something that's going to bring in a transformation that you can tap into what this energy is, what you want now. Okay, this is what you focus on. Let's look at the unexpected energy coming in and we've got the lovers. So now we are now clarifying the lovers for Scorpio, please. What is this lovers energy for Scorpio? And you have got the seven of wands. Okay, I'm going to clarify seven of wands for you. Let's see where this energy is coming up for you. What is this Seven of Wands energy for Scorpio, please? What is this Seven of Wands energy for Scorpio? The Page of Pentacles. Okay. Scorpio, this is interesting. And once again, it will not resonate with everybody. What I am seeing is with this energy here, this Nine of Cups energy, there might unexpectedly be some resistance coming from the people around you. Now, the lovers does speak of a, definitely it could be your significant other, a romantic love, but the lovers also talks to us of a very significant connection. So this could be your family, your friends, or whatever this energy is. 
I think unexpectedly when you come forward and you tell them about this plan, this energy, they might push back a bit, Scorpio. So just be prepared for that. It's like, Scorpio, you've done this all your life. Is this a time to make such a big change? Think about it. You're being told, stand your ground. Because Page of Pentacles tells us there is this possibility of something new, something fresh. Can you see all these little saplings starting to grow in the field? People are not going to understand it immediately, Scorpio. But Seven of Wands says, just hold tight. Stand your ground. Do your research. This is Page of Pentacles energy. Look at what's possible. Okay, I gave you a very out there example, but everybody's going to be different. Look at it, see where it's possible. Like I said, maybe you don't give up your job completely. Maybe you just take some time off or while you're working, you do something else that's going to fill you up. It's going to give you your nine of cups. There's always a way. And that's what Queen of Swords energy is. Find the way to release yourself out of Eight of Swords and to start bringing this Nine of Cups energy in now. You don't have to wait. It's not an all or nothing scenario. There is going to be a way where you manage and juggle both. Unexpectedly, there are going to be people who are going to be negative about it. But you stand your ground because this is the beginning of something new, something that will grow. Now the saplings are small, but if you nurture it, if you give it time, if you give it attention, my gosh, Scorpio, this is all going to grow and develop. So you do what makes you happy now. Look at that. It's very important. Now let's look at this Ace of Pentacles energy that is coming in from messages and advice from Spirit. Let's see, what is this? Ace of Pentacles energy for Scorpio, please. What is this Ace of Pentacles? And you have got the Judgment card. Wow. Big energy. Divine is coming in, Scorpio, and they want you to know there is an incredible opportunity coming through for you that is associated with this wish fulfillment. And it's coming through from the hand of God. And the Ace of Pentacles is something new. Something that can grow and develop. Here's the Pentacle again. It's about walking down a new road. And we saw that you wanted to walk down a new road. Judgment is coming in and letting you know that this is really about something that is meant for you. It's like a opening, a gateway that speaks to your heart. It does take courage to stand up and acknowledge it. But Divine is saying it's a gift from them to you. They want you to look at it and they want you to manage it in the way that's easy for you, that speaks to you. But can you see the angel blowing the trumpet? It's just about hear the call. And I feel that you are going to hear the call. I think this is something that has been on your mind for a long time. There is something new coming in. It's a different path. Scorpio, I just gave you the career path, but this could come up in any area of your life. So take it where it resonates. But it's about standing up and honoring something deep within you and saying, you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready to make some kind of big move. Everybody might not understand it, but as long as you do, as long as it makes sense to you, my dear Scorpios, you're going to be on your way. So what a lovely confirmation we are seeing here from the divine. Let's go ahead now and see what this Six of Pentacles energy is for you that is sitting in the possible outcome of the week. Let's see what do we have from Scorpio, please, in the possible outcome of the week. And you have got the King of Wands. This is an interesting energy. You know, Scorpio, I am seeing at the end of the week 
somebody is coming through. They are presenting as the king of wands. It could be a masculine or a feminine energy, but it's a very strong energy, very dynamic energy. They're going to get you completely. They're going to understand this scenario completely. And with six of pentacles, I think they're going to not only support you, back you, but they are going to help you. They want this for you. They see this for you in whatever this is for you. So this person, like I said, just watch out for them because it could be somebody from your family. This could be a very close friend, a colleague, a boss, a mentor. They're going to give you something, something that's going to bring balance back into the situation. And I do believe they're going to help you. Can you see here? There's an exchange taking place. They're going to give you that gentle push in this direction. Maybe it's just what you need to get you going. But this is lovely to see because you're not in this on your own. First and foremost, you have the support of the divine, which we see here. And then you've got this king of wands energy coming in. And they, I think they're really going to be there for you, encourage you and motivate you in this direction. Right, let's go ahead now and see what your spirit animal is for the week. So let's see now, what is Scorpio's spirit animal for this week, please? What is Scorpio's spirit animal? And you have got number 32, Hawk Spirit. Let spirit be your guide. This is what I saw here. Spirit wants to be your guide. They want you to really look at this as a gift from them, as something that's going to open up this gateway for you, right? A new road. 32 is your auspicious number and any combination, any variation of the numbers 3 and 2, please consider an auspicious sign. The hawk is your spirit animal. So wherever the hawk comes up for you, Scorpio, in any way, shape or form, please consider this as well as a very auspicious sign. And your message, let spirit be your guide. Let spirit come in. Let spirit guide you. Let spirit be there with you as you walk down this new road, as you embrace something that is going to give you your nine of cups energy, releasing what no longer works, which we saw here, what no longer serves, and you absolutely stand up and hear the call of spirit. Something that talks to you, my dearest Scorpios. Something that is going to bring in that energy. And it's really exciting to see this King of Wands energy appearing towards the end of the week because I think this is going to give you extra confidence and an extra boost to move forward. Wow, very exciting week coming up for you. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.